We are living in a day and age when animal owners and animal enterprise are under siege. Uh, today we're announcing the addition of Daniel Andreas San Diego to the FBI's most wanted terrorist list. San Diego is the first domestic terrorist to be included on the most wanted terrorist list, a list that has historically been reserved for international terrorists indicted for various acts of terrorism against U.S. interest. where I say it's a hate movement. Uh, they make money by disparaging people. It's sad to think that we have to even exist to protect people. Late 80s, early 90s, a new kind of legislation came down the pike that had a huge uh, media component with it. San Diego's criminal acts of violence were domestic acts of terror planned out and possibly intended to take lives, destroy property, and create economic hardship for the companies involved. Humane Society of the United States especially, including the ASPCA and PETA and other animal rights groups, are creating a crisis that doesn't exist, and the general public falls for this propaganda with their sad commercials and uh, the fundraising efforts, and yet they use all of the money that they raise on the emotional propaganda from those who are well-intended, who want to um, do something good to protect animals, but they're being betrayed. They're completely being betrayed by the animal rights movement, who take their money willingly and use it against them, actually, to further regulate pet producers, the pet industry, rather, uh, animal agriculture, those who grow and raise our food, to just chip away and make it more difficult. And it's all a strategy to raise the cost, reduce the total production, and eventually eliminate animal agriculture and the pet industry from our country. You know, we have pushed a lot of businesses out of the United States into foreign countries, and I see that happening with our, with our food producers. If we're not careful, we're going to have to import most of our food supply from foreign countries because we're just regulating farmers and ranchers right out of business. You can see the damage still here at the sheepskin factory. This uh, alleged arsonist claims to belong to the Animal Liberation Front, and he posted essentially confessions on some of those radical websites, as you said, under the name Lone Wolf. Well, investigators got their big break when an associate helped them get the real name, 34-year-old Walter Bond. He's in federal jail right now, accused of arson.